Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, so I finished this mug. Looks good, like that handle, real beefy. Um, so I've got him done. Um, so now I'm gonna discuss with you the process of my sgraffito carving. So a lot of my things in the blue that I do are underwater scenes, like whales or octopus. Um, so this is that guy. He's pretty fun. Um, and then I put my name on the bottom. I carved the bottom also right here. It just makes it visually interesting. Um, so that's an example of a finished piece. What I do now is I will reference things. I've got pictures up here that I reference things from. Um, I've got my mushroom book. I reference out of here a lot. So those are just some fun, interesting pictures. I'm really inspired by botanical illustrations. Uh, I really like old retro um, illustrations from books and stuff. There's a place over uh, that I go hike at and they've got a nature preserve and they have all these books in there. So I'll go there and I'll draw and I'll, you know, get inspiration from those books. So here I did, I just used my mushroom book for this guy, but I, I drew some mushrooms. I used some pen and ink and I traced back over that pencil with the pen and ink. So what I would do is I would take this, put that up onto the piece of pottery and then I trace it. I trace all of that with a pencil again. Um, and then it would leave an indention on the surface here so you could see where to carve. And it's as simple as that. The tool that I use is the Kemper tool. Can you see it? Kemper tool. It's very tiny, very small metal tool. So I've already got a good um, picture in my head of how to do this. So I freehand most of my stuff. Um, and that's just because I've done it a lot of times. So I, I did draw things out first to try and get that, try and know what I'm doing first. Um, but whenever I, I've got a good idea of it and I do it multiple times, I'm gonna start carving right away. So what I'm doing right now to begin with, so I'm gonna start with this line around the top, it's making that water line. So that's where I start with the whales. So I went all the way around. And I made my line. So now what I'm gonna do is go back and make a secondary line underneath it. There's my secondary line. So that goes all the way around. And so now what I'm gonna do is start drawing the whales on there. Okay, there's the second one. Here's the second one. All happy. So with this process, I just start drawing out the shapes of everything. Um, I'm making sure that uh, all my proportions are right. Um, and now I'm, I'm gonna draw some of the plant life in the background. Um, and so I'm just getting the first layer of information on here. I like doing a 50-50 ratio of the blue compared to what I carve away. Um, so I'm knowing going into this, like the top here, I'm not going to carve this away. I'm not going to carve the whale blue away, but I will carve the background away. So that gives me, it looks like a, like half of it has been carved away and half has not. So that's a good place to start when you're thinking about what you're going to draw or what you're going to make. And then I'll carve that negative space away right there. And I really like to have a distinct uh, mark whenever I'm carving. So I have a really precise, smooth um, line that I draw, giving it those edges. So that's what that looks like. And then I'll go back and I'll outline those and it just makes it look a little bit cleaner. Like that. So I just like outlined around there. So I'll do that around the entire mug and it's gonna take some time. So 
So it's finished. Here is the finished product of the whales. So you can tell that there's a nice 50-50 ratio of the white and the blue. And there's some nice plant life going on. The whales are hanging out. So that's a finished product of how I make my mugs.